Hi everyone, it's Rachel here and I am back um, in Italy and I only just got back uh, on Sunday. Today is Tuesday around 12.30 and so yep, yeah, very jet lagged, um, waking up at 3 in the morning but awake before that but getting out of bed at 3 in the morning and Steph is too and uh, so yesterday I just couldn't do anything so I didn't do a video yesterday. Needed to have a, a rest after the long journey. But today I thought we'd do a junk journal January because I've only done, I've been having a look. I think I might use this journal also. I've got my travel journal, but I may um, put extra photographs in this one um, that don't fit in my travel journal. I haven't done a lot in the travel journal, but I did um, dictate notes into my um, iPad. So I do know mostly what happened except for the last maybe six days or something, but I, I can remember most of that. So anyway, I thought we'd do Junk Journal January. I was just going through having a look at what I had done, not much. Um, so I thought today we might do, let's see, or Starry. I probably won't do Starry. That's not very me um, unless I find something that's Starry. Um, routine, I have sort of... That's this page. I'm going to write my routine down. Um, stitched. I did do a bit of stitching on here, but I might do that again. And then uh, shimmer. Now, I did buy, while I was away, this is my little book. I have, I've done a little bit in there, but not much. So we might do a little bit. I, I want to get myself going with that one, and then we'll um, maybe do a bit. I know, where did I put them? Oh, here. I bought these. Are these shimmery? Metallic pens. So I guess I could use those here and there. But I kind of need to figure out what would I do on that page. So let's just pull these out and have a go. I haven't used them. I just bought them at Kmart in Australia. So I just maybe grab this piece of paper and see. How, oh, they are, a bit, they are a bit shimmery. So I can do some doodling with them. Let's see another colour. They work very well, I must say. Oh, maybe this one. This is a lovely colour. Now I just do very simple things and they do shimmer. You probably they're probably not showing up so much on camera, but they are shimmering. Is that what it was? Shimmer, yes. So I'll have to choose a page. I was thinking I might like to do something on the ledger. But it may not be the best page. So let's just have a look. So this can be my shimmer. I'm using a shimmery pen, but I need to find a page that I could work on. So maybe the green page. Hmm. Well, I'm thinking, I don't know how this is going to be, and please forgive me if it's a bit crazy, but because um, I am a bit tired, but... Let's just, oh, now I said they work very well and this one already doesn't work. Nope. Holding it in a different angle. So I'm just doing some doodling here and I'm going to actually going to tear it out and just see if I might like to collage it on somehow very simple okay let's see I don't know if you can see that shimmering I can I mean talk about make it up as you go I could have used shimmery paint I could pull out some shimmery paint actually and use that. Oh, I didn't. I did say I wasn't going to put it on there, but I quite like it on that page. 
I do quite like that. So I think I will put that there. I might just glue it here. I mean, there's no rhyme or reason <laughs> to what I'm doing. I'm just, I mean, that's really what it is to me is just to have a play and muck around and, and not do anything too serious. Just do things just because. So that's shimmery. I mean, they're, they're the kind, these prompts for me are, are quite hard. Uh, I don't, I'm not really a shimmery person, so I do find it a little bit hard to do. I could, do I have some, no, I'll put them away. Oh, I know, I still have them. That's really glitter. That's not real. I was looking at my, um, at my glitter glue thinking that's, that could be classed as shimmer, but I guess it's more glitter. I'm thinking one of those would be really pretty on that page. I'm going to cut that out. Honestly, just making it up as I go. Just trying to get back into the swing of things. It's really hard. But we, oh, I should guess I should tell you a little bit, but I might chat more tomorrow when I'm doing my stitchery because that'll be, you know, a current video. Um, but we did have a really, really wonderful holiday. We feel like we've been away forever. And Lulu's got a lot of catching up with schoolwork. She did do some as much as she could, but there was a lot. So, because they get holiday homework as well. I'm thinking I might put that. I do, look at those colours together. I just love that. Uh, yeah, so she's got a lot to catch up with. And um, Steph's got a lot of work. So, um, and then of course I've got lots of stuff to do now that I've been away for such a long time. I really need to get cracking with my journal list, which I am not adding any more people to. I'm sorry to say because I haven't had a chance to get to it for uh, quite a long time since before, you know, I did Christmas before I left and I didn't even touch it. So people have been waiting a really long time and uh, so I cannot add any more people to that and um, probably won't at all. And this thing, I don't know. Oh, this is just an old grungy old thing. What's the cover like? 1918. Nice paper. Nice paper. Okay, we'll just put that aside. I don't know. I must have plonked that there before I left. Here's some nice brown paper. Anyway, let's stamp. Now, someone, you know, someone, someone told me a good system for the, for the click-on stamps. Now I can't find them. Where are they? My clickety-click stamps. They're being in one of these drawers somewhere. But they're not. Okay. Cannot find them. No. I wonder if I should get out some... I mean, this is me at my bodgy, bodgiest best. Um, maybe I should get out some paint or something and do some shimmery paint I'm feeling like but that would require me require a bit of effort uh, now the lovely Vicky I caught up with Vicky in Australia and she gave me some gouache but I'm looking to see there's no shimmery paint in the gouache so I would need to pull out the other paints and I might just simply do that but um, I was trying to find my stamp so I could stamp there because I was liking the look of the stamp. So why don't I put you on pause and then see what I can find. So I am back and I have put my word together here and I've done number seven. So I'm gonna grab my, what's it called, my ink. Right, I had a few things in front of the drawer so I couldn't um, pull them out. There's enough ink on there. So number seven and shimmer. 
cool. And I have tidied up these and just, you know, connected them all together so I have to go through less when I am looking for things. So I've got my paints here. I'm still not sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn off my iPad because otherwise it will go flat. And I'm just thinking, I did see some beautiful trim, but I'm not quite sure how I would... Um, I've got this beautiful antique. This is from, or it's from the 1800s, or it's from the 1700s. I'm not sure which. It's ecclesiastical metallic trim, but it is shimmering, and I'm feeling like it could look, a piece of it could look quite nice on this page. But I'll, I'll think about that in a second. I have no. This I, th I tell you what it is about these. Um, these prompts is I don't really have a direction on my page apart from the shimmer prompt or um, yeah so I've, I've got silver here no that's grey I'm looking for the shimmery paints and I know they're in here so these are my Arteza and then I think these are Liquitex Basics which is they're pretty basic paints, um, as per their name. Gold, I found gold, that'll shimmer. Actually, we could put a wash of gold on. There's silver. I'd love a bronze if I could find that. Gray. Oh, here we go. Copper, that'll do. Let's look at that. I don't want, I don't, silver's a bit cold for me, so I think... I think I'm going to start off by just doing a little bit of mark making or swishing a bit of oh I would need a palette no I'm just going to do it onto this page just put a little bit of glue paint on there not glue paint that's going to be my palette I didn't pull out my palette thing get some water I might pull my jumper up because I like this jumper I don't want to Get paint all over it. I might just make. Whoops. It's a nice thick piece of paper, so it probably would take a while before it would soak through. And I might just do. Oh, that's lovely. And then grab a little bit of this color. Oh yes, that's really lovely and shimmery. Love that. So I've got a bit of shimmer happening here. So we'll have to let that dry. We'll let that dry. And then I guess I'll be back. I'll probably leave it, let it, I might put just even come over here a little bit to tie in this page. Oh, that could do with a bit of shimmer. And we'll let it dry and then I'll have a think about what else would I like to put on that page. I've got to write on this one, so I need to remember that. could go over the butterfly a little bit just slightly I mean it is it is an inkjet print so it's not color fast so I don't want to go over it too much but I'm loving that page now it's very simple but I'm really really liking it so I think that will dry and then while it's drying I'm going to have a little thinky thinky so let me just have a look at this we'll just put it aside and let me have a look at this trim I wonder. So I would only use that in bits. I like the, um, that side's really shiny, but I also like that side. See, it's very, yeah, so. I wonder, let me just cut a piece off. I know you're probably gonna freak out, but what are you gonna do with it? You just can't find my good scissors. Um, it needs to be, I'm gonna stitch that piece into something, you know, that I'll keep. Well, I'm keeping this as well, but I just want a little piece of it. It's lovely and shimmery. And I'm going to see over here. What? Oh, I know what else. What I did with my sister, we did some fabric sort of dyeing slash painting. And Sarah's shown you her technique for this. Um, or those who are doing the, the journal of stitchery. 
um, just lots of water and a bit of fabric dial and just smooshing the paint over and then and then you let them dry and then you wash you wash them and um, and and then the, the color fades out and then you dry them in the dryer so they all need to be ironed some of the colors I'm not so 100% about but I'll just um, I will just uh, re-dye them if I don't like them repaint over them so I'm thinking that I'm thinking I'm liking this color or this one it's fairly similar I didn't do too many different colors Sass did a lot of green for oh there's some fabrics oh I'm having a blank might use that it was gifted to us I could use a little piece of that I'm just thinking I could do my stitch prompt as well I'm thinking I could put that and then possibly put it on the page so maybe we could work on that a little bit this is a linen. I don't know if I can tear it. I actually don't care that it needs. Oh, that it needs an iron. I like it crumply. Sometimes the fabrics won't tear in both. If it's a linen, sometimes it's very hard to tear them in two directions. But we had a lot of fun doing this. Um, you can see you can get some lovely effects. So I'm looking forward to using those in my projects, but I do I want to iron them first. I don't normally iron, but I'm going to iron those. Okay. So let's see. This is shimmering, and I love this raspberry pinky sort of colour. And I'm just thinking I might like a little piece of this that was gifted. Oh my goodness. I'm ha I am. Um. I've just had a. My brain's gone empty. Who who gifted it? It, it was at my sister's house waiting for us there's no purpose to this it's just decorative I don't want to completely cover up my dyed fabric and I certainly don't want to cover up I think I like that side more all of my shimmery maybe I could put it that way like so and let's do some stitching it's all happening uh, let's see what color would I like to use I have a few colours here, but mm, I quite like that colour. That's just a wool. My page is still wet. Let me see what time it is, because I do have to go and get Lulu at a certain point. It's nearly one. That's okay. We're okay. Uh, I have a net. Oh, I have this already threaded. Oh, this is perfect colour, but I don't have that colour with me. Oh, yes, I do. It's here. Okay, that's double. I don't want double. Can I get it off? Yes. Okay. I don't have my threader here. It's in the other room. So let's just see. Oh, I can't thread get my knot going. So I'm just going to randomly start doing some running stitch. Oh no, that's a disaster. I'm not going to be able to thread it. Let me try this technique. Never, this technique has never worked where you you pinch it. It's never worked for me. You pinch it on there. Oh, and it just worked. Mm. No, it didn't quite work. Let's try again. It nearly did. I've seen people do this. Oh, it worked. Okay, good. So you could put a little bit of glue under your fabric if you want to hold it in place. I'm not a fan of too much glue and fabric. It's just not my thing. So this is just a running stitch. Actually, I could run it along instead of stabbing. It'd be faster. So just do some random stitching now I'm not going to class this as my stitched prompt because I might add 
Uh, I think one of my resolutions, if I remember correctly, was to add more stitching to um, my work. So I think I will do that. I'm going to come right across here. I'm loving these colours. These colours are just sort of mustardy yellow and um, that raspberry pink and this gorgeous blue is, I just love it. So I just keep along, stitching along here. I don't know where I'm going to put it but I want it to go on that page. And that page does have a fold over, which is where my dilemma is occurring. Actually, I might come even come along a bit further, but I could put it on like a, a tabby sort of thing. And I don't really have a, a focal point on the page, as I keep saying, very repetitive. Um, but maybe that will come later. And I wanted to get this on because I was thinking I could bring a little bit of paint onto it as well. It's a nice way when you have something like really old like this, it's given it a new purpose. I love the back as well. It's giving it a new kind of a new purpose. I'm putting in a piece that was um, part of a gift. We were sent a wonderful gift. Thank you so much. Uh, to my sister's house and we just shared bits and pieces of it. And um, shall I keep on going? I may keep on going a bit with that. And um, so it's a nice place to put it in something that I'm keeping. That little piece. Looks like it kind of reminds me of a Tilda fabric. It might be. Let me try that technique again because I don't want to stop the video again and go and get my um, threader. Might work. Nope. Yes. Okay. I'd actually enjoy my uh, running stitch more if they were closer together. So let's do these next ones closer together like the rows closer together. I always seem to do them too far apart and I like them, I like the look of them being closer together. So I may come back and do a few extra rows. Just going to pop up here and do another row there. It's very simple stitching, but you get a nice textural effect, a nice dimension to your page, I think. So yeah, so we did have a lovely time. We rented a um, a not too expensive, lovely place on the Sunshine Coast. With mum. we divided it between my sister, my older brother, and myself or Steffi and I, and um, we had five nights there, which was really fun. We really enjoyed that. We haven't done that before. So um, really, really, and I was glad that we sort of organized it at the beginning of the trip um, because I become very precious about, you know, being with my family and stuff before I leave. So I really was able to just enjoy it. You know, we did it on our on our fourth day. We drove up there, and um, was really able just to relax and enjoy it, and got a lot of stitching done. I did the Fleur Wood online course with Fiber Arts Takes Two, and so I had taken the piece that I had prepared, the base, and I sat and stitched that, and it was so much fun. I really enjoyed it. Okay, see, I like that better now that they're closer together. So I'm going to end that off. And I'm going to just going to grab another color. And hopefully I'll be able to thread it. I'm going to grab another color. I might grab a stranded thread or not that 
that one, this darker one. I think that might just be a DMC. There was this random funny, oh, the most funny shop um, in Wynnum in Brisbane. I can't remember what it was called. I think I got their card, Mischievous Sewing or something like that. And there's this gentleman, he's purchased the shop from an elderly lady and he was so eccentric. He was hilarious. And, um, and he had, you know, some, I mean, it was a lot of it. I didn't like what was in the shop, but we did get some fun things in there. we got some great buttons and, um, and just, he had a nice variety of variegated DMC threads. And I think some of them were the Cosmo. Is that what they're called? The Japanese ones? I'm just going to do random stitches in all different directions here. I just want to hold down the fabric but I don't want to it to be too regular it's a bit like mark making but with thread I might even come up here a little bit I was going to do French knots but I think I'll just do it's kind of like a big seed stitch everywhere Just in the spirit of holding it all together. I mean, this would be, you know, this is this is exactly how I would approach doing, putting together a hand-stitched cluster or tab as well. So you just need to hold all your fabrics together. So a little bit of random stitching is good. And then here I might even just go around with a with some stitches just to hold that all together Okay, I just need to go up to there and then I'll have to go and stitch up there a little bit. I'm loving I'm loving how this raspberry, I don't know how good the lighting is. Um, and I'm not zoomed in, which I apologize for, but then I'll go off screen. Um, I'm just putting random stitches in all directions. I'm just loving the feel of it. But I'm loving how the raspberry red pops onto the pops on the gold I'm going to end that off and then I'm just going to come up here now the reason why you need to stitch it all down is you don't when you glue it onto your page you could stitch it onto your page um, you don't want it sort of curling over too much right, so yeah I need to put some random stitches up here now I wanted to apologize I did get a so fairly off comment the other day on one of the videos and one of my pre-recorded videos that I worked hard to do um, that whilst the lady enjoyed, I hadn't heard of this lady before, um, you know, the creation, she couldn't stand, well, she didn't say that, not so much those words. She didn't enjoy listening to me jump from one subject to another. Well, I would like to address that. I will apologize if I do do that. I would like anyone, uh, there will be some of you who are very good at it, um, but I find it quite hard sometimes to think and create and talk all at the same time. And that is why, and I'm getting older, and so that is why I do lose my train of thought sometimes because I'm also, while I'm talking, I'm sitting here thinking about what's next. And I, as you know, I don't pre-plan plan, my videos so that well I always know vaguely what I'm going to do but um, they're not totally planned so you are getting the true my true organic process um, yeah so I just would like to remind people that it is hard and if you're not making videos yourself you may not realize uh, how hard it is to concentrate and talk and 
be creative all at the same time and share with people. And um, there you go, I've lost my train of thought. Yeah, just be kind is what I say to anyone, not just to me, I don't care. I just replied back and said, possibly I'm not the channel for you because I do lose my train of thought. You might prefer to watch someone else who doesn't, which is no, no problem at all. Um, and I would put a friendly reminder out there that all these YouTube videos that people are putting up are free. So anyway, I just thought now my page is dry so I can put this on here and we've got our beautiful shimmery piece here. It's going to go on the shimmery page and oh, I'm, I really do like it. I've just, I think I quite like it. I might put it sort of not in the middle. I think I quite like it there. Or do I like it up here? I might, no, I like it more up there. So that is going to be glued on there. Now what I need is my Giotto glue stick. And I'm going to just go on here and put my glue directly onto the fabric. Now I'm using Giotto glue stick for those who are new. Um, you may have trouble finding it in your country. It's Italian as far as I know. And it's very good gluing Giotto as in the artist. It's very good for gluing uh, fabric to paper, especially for this sort of thing, like you, when you don't really want to use a super wet glue, and I absolutely love that. I love it. Okay, and then I wanted to grab this, I did say. I didn't forget that thought. And I just wanted to, now there's still room here for something else, but I'm wondering whether I might like to come back at a later date and just going to put some shimmery it won't probably won't show up so well but i did have a bit of paint left and i thought i could blob and blob would be the word some paint onto the fabric as well um, i might like to use this page to document something at a later state stage so I think I might just leave it without, because I actually would find that a nice area. I'm using the paint like it's glue. Um, I think I would find that a nice area to write on. So that, it's kind of weird. This has been a very weird journal, but that, that is my shimmery page. So I've got the shimmery metallic pen. I've got shimmery paint on my page. I've got this gorgeous old metallic trim that was on it something ecclesiastical this gorgeous um fabric that was gifted so there's a lot of memories in here i'm feeling like i might like to put something from my trip there i'm actually thinking now i might like actually my sister gave me these pens so maybe i'll use one of these you thought i was finished but i, I told a lie i'm sort of feeling like i might like just a little doodling happening down here as well just something just a little bit random like that. It was very weird yesterday when Steph and Lulu went off to school and work and I was here all by myself and I was just like, oh, I've been with you guys for such a long time now and I'm not used to being by myself anymore. Just wanted to add a little bit more. I'm just doing, you know, scribbly, scribbly do do sort of things. And I'm using the pen that my sister gave me as part of my Christmas present. One that she gave me a pack. I mean, it's absolute mess. And if I didn't like it, I could just, I could just get rid of it, cover it up with something else. But I'll leave it because. Then I will see. It's a bit of a mess. But um, I will then see. You can see the tiredness in me. But you know what? I think it's a good idea to keep it. Because I could write about that. So I could write about having come back from my trip. And being tired and doing a video. But using things that reminded me. I mean that is shocking. But anyway. Um, you Just leave it. I mean, this page was a shocker. And I had to go back and fix it. I like that page. I actually really like that page, the stained page. This page is okay. 
I'll do the writing and that will come together. I actually love this. I don't love that, but I do love this. So I may decide to leave that. I could come back and cover it up, you know, with something. I might decide to do that, but we can revisit that. I'm going to come and work in here. I'm going to put a photograph. I've got the painted fabric that reminds me of my sister, the pen mess that I've made. Um, and this was gifted to me. And then that's um, something I purchased at the antique market. Um before I left. So that is my shimmer page. Bit of a shocker over there. I may cover that up, but you'll see, if I decide to cover it up now, I might you'll see it in the in the photograph. Um and yeah, so I just want to pop in and say hello really. So that's what this video is in aid of. So I hope everybody is well and I look forward to getting my mojo back and getting back into it, which is not easy. Um, and, um, yeah, thank you for those who stuck out through this video. Thank you for your patience and I will see you again soon. Bye.